Right then, here we are back in uh, my MG6. I uh, have now purchased, or had purchased in the previous video but hadn't fitted, purchased and fitted a TDI tuning box designed for the 1.8 MG6 engine, petrol engine. All it does is trick the boost map sensor. So basically runs a bit more boost and puts a bit more fuel in because there's more boost and more air and more fuel means bigger bang so I was a bit skeptical about buying one of these fitting them never have done in the past always had standard engine regarding map wise or sensors and all of that jazz um, but nobody's managed to remap these in the UK yet you can't buy remapped ECUs the, uh, there's a gentleman Andy I think who is trying to and he's getting there I think he's done work but in the meantime till a proper map comes out I've bought one of these, there was a 20% sale the other day, it might still be on if this, if you're watching this and it's recent. So that's basically VAT free isn't it, 20% off. So I took the plunge, bought one, came within 48 hours, easy to do, easy to buy, very easy to install and it recommends you run it on the map they give you for 40 miles to sort of bed it in a bit I, I guess creep up in small adjustments so you don't get any over boosting or boost cut or whatever might happen if you suddenly go in a bit too hot so I've done that already done a few miles uh, tweaked it up a few maps there's one to seven I believe so comes with map 4 um, as standard middle of the road was about 1 psi higher than the original um, so anyway here we are cars warmed up we're on map 7 which is the highest one and I haven't really gunned it yet waiting for a nicer piece of road the uh, initial thoughts I think it's pretty good hasn't thrown any faults hasn't caused any anomalies or weirdness about the drivability um, definitely goes a bit better in the other maps but this last one I'm hoping is the difference um, the map 6 I think was pretty good if that was the top map you'd probably still be quite happy with that um, it just seems a bit sprightlier normal driving somehow it, well because it's going higher boost it's such a small turbo it kind of gets on it a bit quicker gives you that bit more punch and a bit more power um, haven't really experienced it enough to discuss the torque limiting and whether that's better with it worse with it I was expecting it to be kind of worse with it but I think it's actually better with the chip it seems to not have that kind of hole of where you're waiting once you've changed into third waiting to kind of have full boost um, the other maps have all done a little bit each time I reckon if um, I'd have not been tight and gone for the Bluetooth version which was more expensive you can adjust it from your phone in the car 
if you had it kind of on one and just poodled around for a bit and then whacked it up to seven, I reckon there's a noticeably big difference, which is great for the money. And it's exactly the difference that this car needed. Maybe a tiny bit more than it needs as well. Um, we see a couple of other guys on the group of uh, on the interwebs have had one of these for a few years now, some longer, and have had no issues. They don't seem to have suddenly worn anything out any quicker than anyone else. Um, there's some guys on there with no chip and they're on their third gearbox and then there's other guys on there with the tuning box and they're still on their original gearbox and they've got like 70 80,000 miles on the car and having it had it been on there for a few years so I'm reasonably confident that this isn't a silly thing to do and uh, hoping to be able to enjoy it a bit more still only 50 here but it's de-restricted up here so we'll be able to stretch its legs for a couple of minutes hopefully so we're in first and now there's somebody there that's not much fun is he Much better. It's nice now. It's uh, it's not fearsome. It's not a suddenly a performance car, but uh, it's where it should be at. It feels a bit safer to make a manoeuvre to overtake. It um, picks up a bit quicker bit more torque, a bit more power. I mean, you should bloody notice 50, 40, 50 brake horsepower difference. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's not that bad for 260-ish pounds, I think, with the 20% off. It's less than a set of tyres, isn't it? And it'll last longer. Although it'll probably wear the tyres out quicker, knowing my luck and driving. Lovely day, everyone's out for a quick drive. Let's see if we can go back the other way. First. Ready? Flat out. 7,000. Change. Torque limit. 7,070 in second. Upgrade the brakes soon. Second gear, 50, full boost, 70. It's pretty good. Happy with that. Yeah, happy with that. Seems good.
Oh, the dings. There we go. That's all the traction control and ABS and wheel set, uh, wheel tire pressure sensor, all connected to the same earth. And the cable's a bit fragile, and I think they corrode or something breaks, and then it'll just throw the code up occasionally. But anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? It's way more fun to drive now. So, thank you for watching. Go buy a tuning box, great fun, would highly recommend. Drive responsibly, stay safe. <laughs>